Hello and welcome to another episode of Psychotech. Today we are going to be discussing what I'm calling Warranty Wars. So this is going to be a comprehensive look at some of the popular companies out there and what they offer in terms of laptop warranties or extended warranties for their products. Before we get too far, one thing worth mentioning is that these warranties will apply differently in different areas of the world and in different countries depending on the legislation. So make sure that you are being responsible, doing your own research to ensure that you fully understand what rights you have as a consumer in your particular area. This is going to mostly focus on the rights of consumers in the North American area, so some of the information here may not be 100% accurate or in line with your experience or accessibility, so please keep that in mind. Now, when it comes to this discussion, there are two main groups of people. The first is what I describe as the Warranty Matters group, and this is where downtime is an eight-letter word for sin. User serviceability of a computer is quite low, or user technical comfort is quite low. If any of those three are something that matter to you, then a warranty is probably something that you are going to look at. The only other thing I would add is that longevity of device sometimes can factor under warranty, but not always. For those consumers that the warranty might be less important, those are the individuals that a computer is used for more casual use or a backup computer is present and or readily available. The computer uh, is quite uh, readily repairable and a reliable supply of parts and quality of parts is easily accessible and the user has some technical know-how and or the time to repair the machine. I really need to stress at this point that not all warranties are going to be equal, and it is your job as the consumer to make sure that you are making an informed purchase decision. So you need to know what are your rights and what is covered if something goes wrong with the computer. You need to know how long does the warranty last, what is covered, what isn't. If there are any expectations, recalls, service bulletins, or programs, what kind of proof of warranty do you need? Some companies will keep track of the warranty for you. Other companies will demand that you hold on to the receipt. And if you lose that receipt, they will not service it despite you being under warranty coverage. Now, the other thing you'll need to consider is the turnaround time for these repairs and the service centers in your area if they are applicable. And of course, and this is not something that's talked about very often, but business warranties are often if not always, better than regular consumer warranties. So keep that in mind. Always check your manufacturer's website to see if there is a difference between the business warranty and the consumer warranty and whether or not you can take advantage of a different warranty setup. When it comes to providing that warranty service, there are three main types that a manufacturer will use to provide that service to you. The first is the mail-in, so that's where a box is given to you or you have to provide a box, depending on the company, and you ship the laptop or they pay for the shipping. Again, it will depend on the company, and then they do the service at a service center and then ship the product back to you. Now, again, this will vary how that service works from manufacturer to manufacturer, so make sure that you have a good understanding on how that works, and more importantly, is the product being shipped out of country? If so, then that means a much longer turnaround time. That means customs may be involved in slowing down the return of the product. There's a lot of things to consider there. On-site warranty is gaining more and more popularity with larger providers because this is where a technician visits you either at your place of business or at your home and provides the service right then and there once they've remotely diagnosed the issue through a software tool or their customer support service. Now, this service is quite quick. The parts are swapped out if it can be done, and the service is usually quite quickly and you're guaranteed to have a fully certified technician from that specific company often handling the repair. The third is the retail approach, which is the more traditional method that many people will be used to for other products. 
And while purchases can happen at retail stores, service is rarely provided at these locations. The exceptions that I'm aware of are the Apple stores and the Microsoft stores for their proprietary product lines. For example, if you go to a Best Buy, you purchase a Lenovo, and you bring it back for a limited warranty, they're probably going to have to ship it out either to a Lenovo depot or a third-party repair center, and that's where quality control can really fly off the rails. So keep in mind that some retail environments can provide faster service, but there's also the potential if you're paying for anything that there is going to be a retail markup because they need to pay employees, they need to pay rent, and all that other good stuff. Now, for the purpose of this talk, I'm going to be looking at really one group of companies, but I wanted to make the distinguishing difference very, very clear, is to me, there's two kinds of warranty out there. The limited warranty, that is, after a year, you're paying for us to service it, if at all, and those that offer comprehensive additional warranties that can be purchased by the customer within a certain time frame of that device being purchased. Some companies will demand the warranty purchased before delivery. Others will give you a grace window of around 30 days. Again, make sure you are reading up on what is best. Now, we're going to go through and look at each of these companies one at a time. And this is going to be an analysis of any warranties that I was able to find without doing too much digging. So in other words, if multiple warranties are available, I've listed them here. If they were hidden behind certain uh, walls, then obviously I didn't find them. So the first one up is Hewlett Packard or HP. They offer a three-year HP Care Pack for a laptop, which is around $270 Canadian. It's a ship-in service. It's a response time of three to seven days. A courier will drop off a box. You stick the laptop in it, take it to a courier office. They ship it out. And this warranty does cover drops and spills. So if you dump liquid on the keyboard, you are covered. And it does offer a low jack anti-theft. I wouldn't want to depend on that too much, but it is offered there. Currently, and sometimes, they are offering risk-free promotions where if you don't use this care package, you actually get the money back at the end of the extended warranty term, which is actually a pretty good deal. The next one on the chopping block is Lenovo, and theirs is a bit more build and package what you want in terms of options. So you have the choice of depot or on-site support being available, with the on-site support obviously being a little bit extra money, but a faster turnaround time for sure. Prices can also fluctuate on these depending on sales, deals, and other combos. As you can see, when I took these screen captures, some prices have been slashed currently for a promotional offer. Drops and spills is an extra charge, but it does cover the extent of the entire warranty period and is fairly affordable. It is single use, however, as far as I can tell. There are additional options for data security and international travelers. So if you do travel internationally, they do offer their warranty to be extended to other countries. So if you are traveling for business or school and you want to make sure that your warranty is good other than the country that you purchased it in, this is a very attractive option. Next up on the chopping block is Apple. So they really offer one form of coverage in Canada and that is Apple Care. It provides three years of coverage and I've provided a pricing table there for you to examine. They do offer carry-in, mail-in, and also on-site services if that is in your area. So, for example, if there is an Apple store near you, then mail-in and on-site services are probably not going to be offered to you. Conversely, if there is no store available, mail-in is probably going to be your only option. So keep that in mind when you are purchasing one of these products that the service of warranty that you get although you pay the same price, is not going to be the same. To make matters more complicated, there is no option in Canada and in many other parts of the world for any kind of accidental damage coverage. So if you break your machine, that's too bad. However, in the United States, they now have, as of 2017, AppleCare Plus, 
which is more money. However, there is coverage of accidental damage. However, there is another caveat to this. There is a $100.99 US dollar fee for each success uh, or successive damage for up to two times and $299 for other damages. And I could not find out what exactly that was. So keep in mind that the warranty coverage for Apple is going to fluctuate rather wildly and there is no option for accidental damage in Canada and many other countries. Now, Microsoft is an interesting one. As a consumer, Microsoft Complete offers two years of coverage. This includes drops, spills, cracked screens, and other issues. And you are allowed to make two claims with a potential of a $50 deductible for each instance that you need to have the device replaced due to accidental damage. There is mail-in and retail service, but the I've heard quite enough stories to know that these experiences seem to be wildly inconsistent. If you have a store near you, the service and the turnaround time that you are going to get seems to be quite significantly better than if you're using the mail-in service. And I really don't like to say something like that, but that's been the experience that I've read of so many people in the comment section that have had to do warranty work that were not near a store versus the ones that were. The evidence that I've collected personally is quite compelling on that front. Bundles can be purchased to reduce the price or, of that coverage. However, Microsoft is one of the companies that has what I would like to call hidden warranties. Now, hidden warranties doesn't mean that you can't find them, but it is not inherently obvious that there are more warranty options beside this one. So what you see here is actually the standard uh, warranty coverage as long with the extended hardware service plan as well as all of the other business plans. So what you see here are all business plans. So you will know, especially if you're in Canada, the most that you can purchase an extended warranty for is two years. However, if you are a business customer or if you qualify for Microsoft Complete for Education, the warranties are actually different. So if you are looking at purchasing a Microsoft product, keep in mind that the business customers and the education customers and the enterprise customers are going to get better warranty deals even though they might cost you a little more money. So I was able to purchase my Surface Book 2 with the business warranty and my device replacement is covered in store. So if I walk in with a broken machine, I get a new one and then I leave. And I get those two accidental damage claims at no charge. So there is some pretty significant differences between these two warranties and it certainly benefits you as the customer to know what those are. Next up is Dell, and they have a lot of different warranty options and is probably the most complicated in terms of actually reading and understanding what it is that you're getting. If you are a regular consumer, there are three tiered types, getting started, premium, and premium plus. You do get that first year of on-site in-home service after a remote diagnosis, that's free. However, additional coverage appears to only be included in Premium Plus. So this is what we would refer to as accidental coverage. So if you break the machine because it's your fault, that's only covered at the Premium Plus level. And as you can see, if you want three years of Premium Plus coverage, that is incredibly expensive. All of the prices here are listed in Canadian dollars, but it is certainly considerably higher than the premium and just the getting started prices. And if anyone can fact check me on that, that I am reading that incorrectly and that repairs for accidents are covered under a different Dell warranty, please let me know and I will make an amendment to this video. To make matters even more complicated, business clients get a completely different set of warranties. 
and I'm just going to leave this up here on the screen for you to look at. If you want to pause the video here and read through this, then I will certainly uh, encourage you to do so because there's a lot of information to take in and it's far from straightforward. On top of all of that, damage warranties must be the same term length as the other warranty. I did not see any option for this under the consumer warranty. This is for the business warranty only. So if you want four years of accidental damage coverage, then you need to make sure that you've purchased the four years of whatever protection. You can't do three of one and four of another. It doesn't work that way. Same thing with battery uh, service. Two years extended battery service for years two and three of the system's life is an additional $89. Interestingly enough, other companies do not necessarily offer strict battery warranties with certain wear levels as far as I'm aware. So after all of that information, and it's a lot, I apologize that this has gone a little long, but there's a lot to cover, it's fairly clear that depending on who you are as a customer and what your needs are, certain warranties are going to be of much greater value than others. I highly encourage that you do your own research in your area of what warranty and what protection you have as a consumer before making that purchase because to me, if you're relying on your technology as much as I am, knowing what you can get fixed and how quickly you can get it fixed is just as important as the specs of the machine. Hopefully, this will give you an idea of the sort of information that you should be looking for and collecting and comparing when you go to shop for your own warranty. Once again, I'd like to thank you so much for watching another episode of Psychotech. If you have ideas for future episodes or if you have comments and questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Hit me up on Twitter. I love to have a couple more followers over there so you can see my deranged ramblings at all hours of the day. And of course, if you have any questions you'd like to ask anonymously or you just don't want to do it anywhere else, you can always ask them on Curious Cat and the answers are posted to my Twitter feed. If you found this content helpful, I really would encourage that you hit that subscribe button, like, and more importantly, share this video with people that you know are going to be making this purchase soon. The school season is coming up. University students are going to be looking for machines that are going to last them for years to get them through their studies. This is an important discussion that we need to be passing around, and I hope that I can depend on the viewers like you to share this and get a much greater conversation started. And I'll see you next time.